Alright, so I am here to uh, glue a few of the last final pieces, four of them to be precise, onto this metal cross here. One there, one here, two at the bottoms. I did it yesterday, but uh, in handling the model afterwards for other stuff, I, they just knocked loose. The glue is so precise that you can't use a lot. So I've been putting a bit of that glue on the edge here, dipping the ends in. rather sloppily laying it down but once stuck there it's definitely stuck got a little glue shine around the base points but I don't know that there's all that much ah, that could be done about that and getting the initial proper angle. The way these wires were cut, the ends crimped, so they're either flat against the surface or they're sitting like that, and when they sit like that, it's no good. So there's two down. It's not too bad. Definitely dipping the uh, wire in the glue here was a key to a lot of it because blobbing a dab of glue down would be really terrible. But these are also an exceptionally weak link. Ah, so weak that it could even fall off. There's really no way that I could put this model in a vise or any other thing to hold it while I held these little wires with like a crimp or something. I could definitely use a few hundred more watts of light. So there's a new blemish in doing all that. So I think you catch some of the details there. So now there are four more that go from this side to the middle that I still have to cut up. There are also nine, even though the page lists eight, of these little, they're called sensor squares, kind of look like vents basically paint them, I put them down on the paint strip here, went around the edges really wet, or primed black first, went around the edges really wet with the silver and then dry brushed over the top to pull out the surface details, which again, I'll have a lot more pictures on my website and over at the uh, Orbital Defense Commission as well. There's really not a lot of touch up that can be due on done on this glue that I know of because I'm thinking if I took like a toothpick or something and just applied a dab there I'd still get a lot of a bleed and it'd at least bubble up or leave some kind of sign that yes it was glued. If there was a macro function on this camera I'd get in and show you some of the more details where there was a loose mask and stuff but uh, that'll have to wait. So next up is cutting these four, this into four pieces and those guys.